Hey guys, so I thought that I would vlog today because I haven't vlogged in a while. I'm walking these dogs and they're very cute. Look at this, look at this. Look. Hello. Hi, please look at the camera. Hi. Hi, bestie. And then, Okay, anyways, you get the point. Check this out. Stinker. Tipsy. Stinker. She usually, and I go, she usually says stinker back. Oh, she almost did it. Stinker. Can you please just do it? Stinker. Stinker. Is she gonna shit? Yep. So before we get into the rest of this video, I did want to share something really cool with you guys. This video is sponsored by Lavoie, and I've worked with Lavoie several times before. They make really great air purifiers. I also have a humidifier from them, but they're really good because I have a lot of animals, birds such as you know, Gypsy and the pigeons and stuff produce a ton of dust. So this is the Lavoie Core 400S. And what's really cool about this, first of all, there's a display that will literally tell you your air quality. There's also this sleep mode. So like if it's in your bedroom or something, you can just press the sleep mode and it'll go to a really low setting. So it's not making a lot of noise and the lights turn off. There's an activated carpet. Gypsy, I'm trying to talk about the air purifier. Please stop. Okay, thank you. So <laughs> there's an activated carbon filter, which filters out like pet odors, smoke odors, things like that. True HEPA filter filters out allergens, you know, dust, pollen, things like that. You can control it with your phone, set schedules for it. You can also connect it to Alexa and Google Assistant and stuff like that. I'll have the link down below where you can purchase this air purifier. Again, just if you have pets or especially if you have birds, it just makes the air quality in your house a lot better, helps reduce odors, dust, and all that stuff. Make sure to check out the link down below and get yourself a Lavoie air purifier. Now I'm going to get my hair cut. So hopefully the next time you see me, my hair will look a little bit better than this. So I got my hair cut and it's a lot shorter than I wanted it, but I honestly don't hate it, but I've just never, I mean, yeah, I don't think I've ever really had it this short, but maybe I have, I don't know. It's very short. Come on. Good boy. I literally don't see any good roaches for the abronias in here. They're just like either too big or too small. That one might be okay. So I've been keeping the abronias outside because it's been, you know, nice outside. I usually keep them outside in the spring and summer and some of the fall. Unfortunately, in Michigan, you know, it's like freezing here usually, so there isn't very much time like out of the year that they can be outside. Abronias can actually handle pretty cold temperatures though, like down to 45 degrees-ish. Um, so they can spend more time outside than a lot of other reptiles could, but still, I wish I lived somewhere like nicer so they could be outside more often, but. They enjoy it while they can. Do you want it? Very cool. Hello friends, so I'm walking another dog now. Look at this. Look at this pup. His name's Felix, and he's the cutest boy ever. Isn't that right, Felix? Felix, stop. Oh, you kind of got to see his face. Felix. Okay, well, I tried. So now it's time to feed 
all the crested geckos. So as you guys know, we have around 50 geckos total. And then also goggles, our chihuahua eats the same food as the crested geckos. So yeah, I'm just gonna be showing you how I prepare food for all those geckos and we're gonna be feeding them. So today we're gonna feed them Pangea fruit mixed with insects, the complete gecko diet. And you can buy this as well as other flavors, as well as Lugardi Gecko Diet on CelestialExotics.net, which is our online pet store. And Ooh, yes, we also have Rapashi, and we have uh, like the Rapashi Calcium Supplement, we have Bug Burger, Super Load. And also what I like to use for a lot of our smaller geckos for their food cups are these little silicone dishes and we sell them on our website. See, they say Celestial Exotics on them. And you can get a five pack on our website. These are really nice for geckos because they're really easy to clean out. And they also make really good water dishes if you have any small inverts like tarantula slings or anything like that. I'm also gonna be adding some bee pollen powder, which we also sell on our website. So, First, I'm gonna add some water. And then just a little bit of dechlorinator. Oh my god, Pete is being mean. What is she doing? She splashed onto his face. Oh my god. We're currently pairing two of uh, our geckos. They made him horny. Oh. What? They made him horny. Oh my god, she's being so mean. It's probably fine. She's not like leaving marks, but it's just really mean. Anyways, yeah, we're pairing our geckos. I don't know if you heard Maddie, but she said that she latched onto his face, but apparently it made him horny. Did it work? No, now she's biting me. Okay. So yeah, just trying to kind of eyeball how much powder I'm putting in here, just really realizing you guys can't even see it. There it is. Um, I like it to be like sort of the consistency of... I like it to be sort of the consistency of hunt. What? We, well, I'm trying to pair my crusted gore two of the geckos, but one keeps biting the other one's face. It's not going well. Anyways, I like it to sort of be the consistency of honey, maybe like slightly thicker than that. I don't like it to be super thick because if I make it too thick, then it tends to dry out pretty quickly. So, you know. I don't know, that might be enough. We'll see. And then, just a little bee pollen powder. And then we're gonna blend it. Hi, Melon. Hello. Look at the camera. Look. Melon, look. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. So I don't know if you guys remember my $2,000 gecko. I would hope you would. Oh, there he goes. Come back here. Trash pile where he belongs. There is a mess in here, by the way. So we're remodeling. We are. We really are. Okay. So there's, uh, I named him Captain Olimer. Isn't that so cute? His name is Captain Olimer. He's, oh, acrobat. He's very pretty. So look at that. Holy crap. Wow. Amazing. Oh, look at him. Oh, oh yes. Also, he did drop his tail pretty promptly after I got him. There's absolutely no way he would have kept his tail though, because he he's crazy. He's still a good boy with his frog butt. I wanted to get cute footage of him eating, but I don't know if I will. Here you go, bestie. It's your favorite. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, no. Olimar. I got some good shit here for you. Yeah, you like that? This is Zelda. She has some dirt stuck to her toes, but that's okay. I don't know if she's going to want to eat either, like, outside of her enclosure. But I thought it would be cute if she did. So here you go, Zelda. Here you go, Zelda. Good girl, Mezen. 